Hello everyone, for today's video I have an assassin guide for you. It's also a top global match since YouTube Webby Rob, Rob is in the game. I like to call him Webby. Um, he's a good friend of mine and a great player, so this is definitely going to be a good match. Uh, I did miss recording the first round, but no, it's not too important, right? Um, so you see I decided to go with the mana boots here because mana boots are just such a good item on Natalia to get that starting silence off and to maintain you know silences all throughout the throughout the battle so you definitely want to get some mana boots on her if you don't start with them try to get them at the boss stage instead of a clone just try to get those mana boots um, and if you don't get the mana boots i would say go for attack attack speed boots so Starting off here, I did get the Saber, Alpha, and the Lancelot, so that's that's kind of why I decided to, to do an Assassin build in this video. Now, if you if you don't start off with Assassins, you can still build them. You really, you can do any build you want in this game, um, especially if you're using Ragnar because it, it allows you to get your build going while just getting getting hit at the start, trying to maintain a lose streak, and trying to get that uh, first item or first synergy at the fate box. So without further ado, we'll get started. Early game, Saber and Alpha, the two, uh, two cyborg heroes are gonna be your best, your best heroes just because they, you know, they have that added hit points bonus. So early game, they're, they're gonna be very strong units. Late game, I would say Natalia is definitely going to be your main carry. Just because she uh, she doesn't do, I mean, she does damage, but the main thing is she's silencing opponents, um, you know, silencing anything that's going to potentially kill your whole team or or at the end of the battle, like the late fight, she's, she's going to be the one that ends up on top, basically the last hero standing. Now Ling is, he's very good for damage and stuff, but I still pri prioritize Natalia over him because Natalia is the one who's really just going to make you win, you know, win the battle, win the game. So we're doing pretty good on hit points, like getting them low, um, which is, it's pretty funny that, you know, that's, that's a goal of yours at the start, especially when you're using Ragnar. This guy called me a troll, I don't know why. So he just respond, yes, I'm troll. Um, but yeah, we'll get we'll get right into this uh, top global battle and assassin guide, which which is kind of meta right now, just because um, you know assassins are strong to begin with. But Natalia and Alucard, since they're you know they're already in the build, they have that magic defense bonus. It's it's just gonna be make your team very strong. Now I decided to go with Natalia right off the bat here because basically as you can see it's all all magic items and I don't really build my assassin team off magic items like last uh, last update when when there was gosh I'm trying to think of her name that, that mage that they took out uh, I can't remember her name right now but but I would say so pre update the uh, the meta was kind of building assassins with magic items, but now I think it's it's more physical items. Um, end, endless battle is going to be one of your core items if you're doing assassins because their their damage is based off um, their attack speed kind of because each each attack has um, has a chance to do true damage to them. Um, so. It makes them very good versus tanky teams, as long as they're leveled up right. Now you can see already that Natalia is just getting getting these suns off. She's moving fast. She's making it, she's silencing them. So not stunning them, silencing them. Just a great. She is a great unit, guys, right now. So I go ahead. I'll try to get this alpha to level two at the start. Just for because of his hit points boost, um, leave him in at the very back, so that way their team has to come to us, and that gives my assassins time to you know get the initial hits in. 
Um, so we're looking looking pretty pretty strong at the start for an assassin. Um, and you know, since we have Ragnar, it gives us time to level up the assassins. Um, some people, you know, they'll use Eggy Assassin and try to try to just get sit, rush six assassins, which is definitely one way of doing it. But I think I prefer this method method just because it's more stable, less uh, less risky, and gives you time to find all your assassins. Now we got the alpha level two, which is good. So. Usually, uh, by now, I would have a couple more Sabres because Sabre, uh, he's just one of those assassin units that is guess. so good early game and usually is very easy to three-star unless, like you see here, there's uh, two other people using assassins, so he's going to be a little bit harder to find. So one thing I can't stress enough, guys, is if you're not, if you're not getting, you know, one of your assassins that you want to level, you, you have to move on, you know, you can't... Uh, can't just stay there and try to three star him forever because uh it might not happen and if you fall too too behind with assassins you're going to no be in trouble be so, so you want to be kind of upgrading your commander at, at a decent rate when using assassins so you can see right there i just upgraded and we're at six of six <clears throat> checking everybody out uh webby brob is using his altar build which is probably one of his strongest builds so it's definitely going to be a hard game. Go up get, you can see just how tanky he is right at the start. So it looks like he's already got three fighters in, I believe, and you know, got the, the altar synergy of three going. Now, early game assassins are, are stronger, so that one was really not too much of a surprise. But at the same time, uh, I think Webby Brob is still on a lose streak, so he's still, he, uh, you know, he's not, his intentions aren't to fully win. He's just, just making his base and setting everything up. So that's that's super good, getting a copy of Natalia this early on. And got an Alu card. So finally going to get another Saber. Maybe we can make him level two. <laughs> But, so as soon as I get the Allo card, I'm going to throw him in. So now all of my heroes have magic defense. Uh, basically, especially early early stages, now when, when you go up against a mage team, it's pretty much like a free, a free win, uh, I would say. So it's very nice. Um, you can see that I put my lifesteal on Natalia, even though she is level 1, because she's, she's still going to do work at level 1, guys. You can see her just completely sil silencing that Chang'un, uh, making her not be able to attack at all. So, like, definitely one of your core heroes, the Mana Boots. Just really do work on her, guys. So, try to get that. Try to get um, Life Steal in there, and if you can, Endless Battle also. So, I would say those those three items will make her. Almost indestructible. Endless battle, life steal, and mana boots. So if you're if you're aiming to build her and you're trying to get the right items on her, those are going to be your items. Uh, I would say placement wise, that's probably the the best thing you want to do is just put your uh, your fighters at the very back, so that way the team ha their team has to walk up to you and it gives you I don't know half a second a second to get the starting hits on their units. So the main thing we would want right now is a level two Natalia. Um, also, you know, maintaining gold over 20, very important as always, and probably all my videos I say that, but it just, you know, it just is. Now I see an assassin uh, synergy up there, oh, but it looks like Joey took it, so that kind of stinks. But um, we are going to get the, the purple item. I still don't know the name of that thing. I just call it purple item. But um, that, that, that's just a really good item in any build, but especially for assassins because, you know, we're, assassins are so fast that they're, they're killing teams off very fast. So if you can um, make 
make their strongest hero not be able to attack for even a few seconds at the start, you're going to be able to kill off some other other heroes and get the team fight on your side, basically. So now we're slot 7 to 7. Um, for an assassin build, you're, you're not completely done till you're at 9, in my opinion, because you want your two fighters, or your three fighters in, excuse me, so that way these, these assassins have sustain, and since they already have a ton of attack speed, they're going to be healing a lot off, you know, the damage dealt. Which is just great. I always throw a face, angry face down when my opponent uses like a skill to like uh, like Harper, a shield, or in this case, a Ragnar uses um, his skill to make damage not as much. And guys, if, if you're using Ragnar, I would definitely say use, use the skill that I have. Um, the skill that lets you heal when your hit points is 25% or lower. Just just a lot better a lot better skill to use in my opinion um, so I was able to get my six assassins so I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in just to make a make my team just a little bit stronger at this point but I'm definitely aiming aiming for the three fighters in there otherwise your team is just not going to be as strong so it looks like looks like we're gonna lose here this guy has his gear activated so but we're, we're not too worried we have Ragnar we have uh, we have you know plenty of rounds to to make it up so we got a boss round here gonna go ahead and grab another alley car to try and try and level him up um, I decided to go back to the, the three fighters instead of the six assassins I guess here which, I mean, it just, you gotta see what kind of works for you. But I like, uh, I really like sustainability. Now, if, um, if I don't get an assassin synergy here, I would definitely be going for a clone because I wanna get that Natalia to level two so she can start, start carrying these fights um, and really start stunning heroes. Looks like I did get an assassin synergy though, which you know obviously it can't be angry with that. Also got an endless battle, which is gonna be great. Golden staff, endless battle. So go ahead and get that item for sure. The world's gonna know my Let name. Me show you the art of killing. Now I think I'm kind of figuring out what to do here. There we go, get everything in, and since I have that assassin synergy. Now we uh you we are completed so I can I can start focusing on leveling up heroes and I have that extra slot which if I have an extra slot I'm usually usually going to try to put in Gato. Uh he works very well with an uh, assassin rune on him because it just enables him to keep using his ultimate faster and if you can get some suns off when you're doing an assassin build it is just really going to be going to make a huge difference, you know, in the fight. You, you can see going against Webby there, we're, we're able to, to silence his units, which has made a huge impact in the fight. Take so let's go ahead and see what we get in the shop here. Now, if you are doing an assassin build, um, and you see that not many other players are doing assassin, I would try to say go ahead and get that saber three star. But as you can see here, it was it was trouble. It was hard for me to get him two star, so I just decided to move on. Now I got a Thamos, so I'm immediately going to take out the um, oh gosh, what is it? Alpha? Take out the Alpha and put him in. So now we now we have an abyss synergy going, and Thamos is uh, he's one of those units that is honestly kind of strong even at one star. But this late in the game, he's just gonna die instantly. Now uh, we got a pretty tanky tanky mage here, but you can see that my one star Natalia is just you know doing doing work on that level three, uh, probably six mage hero right there. 
Especially the, the magic defense definitely helps. Uh, I'm not going to buy a saber anymore because at this point there's there's really no way to get him three star since my commander is level eight of eight. You know, we're not going to be getting many one gold heroes anymore. So now now in the shop we're we're really just looking for the gato and and the ling ling uh, will replace saber. So we got another assassin the assassin right here. Looks like they uh, they also have an empire synergy going, but and they have a lean, but Natalia ends up on top there. My will. And flaring flaring flame is a buddy of mine, so I'm going to go ahead and give him a face. So now we're getting late game, guys. You can really see see uh, how effective Natalia is and how much she's going to be carrying these team fights. Okay, and decided to go for another lifesteal. Lifesteal is just a great item for assassin builds because it, you know, allows your units, I mean, they're going to be doing a lot of damage, so really they, they just with a little bit of sustain is going to make them powerful. Karina, great, great assassin also, especially with uh, the three fighter synergy mixed in with Karina is going to make her very strong. Now I decided to put my lifesteal and assassin emblem on Al Alucard just, just for the time being since he is, he is a very good unit. Um, he's going to have a lot of sustain with that assassin emblem, but it, the Natalia silenced him so he was pretty much you know, hindered useless there. But our Natalia is still alive. She's level two and she's got all, all the best items on her. So she's gonna carry this fight, make them not be able to proc at all. And, you know, we're gonna knock him out. So we got, now we have a Gato and a Lean. So that was a very good, very good shop right there. Go ahead and take the Saber out now. So it's, if he was level three, I would probably leave him in and take something else out. But he was not level three, so just take him out, no problem. As soon as we get um, this Gato to level two, we'll be throwing him in, putting the synergy on him, just to give him, you know, really, really good stuns, and it, it, it'll be a whole, you know, a whole different team fight with him doing that. Uh, looks like the, they got a pretty pretty well leveled ma mage team here, but you can see at the very end of the fight, Natalia is always going to end up on top. One thing I will say is if you're if you're having trouble with mages, even with the the magic bonus, I mean they can they can be hard to deal with. Um, Ling Ling is really a great counter to them because they're they're all grouped up like that. So when he uses his ultimate and smashes down on them, he's gonna he's gonna hit everyone. Um, I would still priority prioritize uh, items on Natalia over him, but at this point in the game, you should be able to have you know items on both of them. So I'm just waiting to get him to two star before I put any items on him. Or looks like I do have the life steal on him, excuse me. But he is uh, he's definitely gonna be way stronger at level two. Now I decided to go with the magic life steal here just for to put on Gato. Um, also the boss round saving round guys, so now now I'm able to upgrade my commander. Uh, I think I upgrade here. I'm not sure. No, magic lies in the mind. no it looks like I'm going to wait because I got a three-star Gujan, so he can he can have the items for now until one until Gato is level two. Is Checking star. out Webby. He's ten of ten slots. He's looking very strong. I think we go versus him right here. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure he destroys us right here. 
I thought it's okay, guys, because we do have Ragnar, so we, we're going to have another chance. You can just see how tanky he is. I mean, he's one of the best, if not the best, uh, altar, altar building slash players, you know, there is. So he almost, he almost knocked me right there. But luckily we hung on. So I know that I, I have to make something happen here. So I'm going to level up my commander first before I try to search for copies of Gato because once you're at nine, you're going to have a higher chance to find a, a five gold hero than you would at eight slots, right? So I'm going to try to get my positioning right. We're going to put Gato right at the front so that way he can get the initial stun off. He, he does have the assassin synergy on him now, so he's going to be able to attack quickly. As you can see there, and then immediately, boom, ultimate. Pops them up and gives gives my assassins time to, to do work on the rest of the team. Now, as you can see, Natalia is, she's going to be the ender. She's going to be the one who makes you, makes you win the fight. Um, she'll be the last last standing hero almost always if if you have the right items on her But definitely definitely good that we hung in there and now we're gonna be able to You know wrap this game up. Hopefully because we're we're looking extremely strong Fortune favors the bold got another ling um, Here my gold gold management is kind of over the last last stages i'm just trying to trying to get a level of two ling or a level two thanos uh, i was debating whether i i would sell these land slots to make him level two but since my items are going to be on uh gato instead of you know the synergy is going to be on gato instead of him i decided not to purchase that um now unfortunately i didn't look over at uh webby webby's rob's team but I think this is where we did end up getting him. And I talked to him after the match and it he said uh he lost because because of Natalia's silences. And he as he saw the match before, I mean he just destroyed us, but since since we had good silences, we had good stuns with our knock ups with Gato, we were able to take down take down the beast. Go ahead and get an extra slot here which is nice and now we're versus, versus the mages which they have a very strong leveled up team so so be kind of hard to defeat but I'll show you guys how to do it right here now Gujan he uh he is level three I but I don't think I even have any so items blind. on him because Gato is just such a core hero now, if, if I didn't have the upgrade slot or if I didn't have an assassin rune, I would I would probably have my items on Gushin. So he, he got lucky here, got a three-star Gato. Be a very good fight right here. And he's not gonna be able to he's not gonna be able to proc because Natalia is just a beast. And I think this is the last round guys, so go ahead and just make sure my positioning is kinda how I want it. I wanna make sure that um you know when that Gato since he's got the magic box and the boots I believe. I just want to make sure he doesn't hit too much of my team because he's still definitely one shot some of them um, even with our celestial bonus in there or not celestial but magic bonus and we just kind of watch watch the fight and see how gato is great sustained That's it guys. So hopefully uh hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um yeah and I'll see you guys in two days. Thank you.